What's up guys? This is Corey. Welcome to CNA Films and Animation. Today I'm going to be talking about another Best Picture nominated movie. This one from 1957, Sidney Lumet's Twelve Angry Men. So Twelve Angry Men stars Henry Fonda, Lee J. Cobb, Jack Klugman, and Jack Warden, among many other people. Well, not many, but, you know, among about ten other people, uh, who are all in this uh, jury room. They're all jurors who are, um, you know, conversing on whether this, like, 18-year-old kid uh, murdered his father uh, in cold blood with a switchblade knife. And they are uh, more or less hung up because at the start of the film, 11 out of uh, 12 jurors believe that the kid is guilty. But Henry Fonda believes that there's speculation to be had that, you know, maybe the kid isn't guilty. You know, maybe it's, you know, a bunch of circumstance and, you know, different uh, things that were overlooked that could potentially make him not guilty. So they talk it out and, you know, pretty soon, one by one, uh, people start leaning toward uh, Henry Fonda's side because... You know, they feel that he is making some valid points. The film was nominated for three Oscars, including Best Picture, Best Director for Sidney Lumet, and Best Adapted Screenplay. So, Twelve Angry Men is a very impressive film. Um, excellently acted from all 12 jurors, um, especially Henry Fonda. You know, he does a fantastic job in his performance. Um, He's a very memorable character, you know, because he's the one who stood out from the rest. And, you know, it is a very intriguing film. The strongest element with this film is definitely the writing. Um, this movie is set in one location, with the exception of the very beginning and the very end. You know, there's about three minutes of a hour and a half long movie. Uh, you know, dedicated not to this jury room. You know, they show just a little bit of the um, courtroom, and then they show outside the courthouse, um, and that's it. You know, it's like three locations, and, you know, the majority of it, you know, like the full hour and a half of this movie is in one room, and you're hearing everybody talk, you know, about whether this kid is guilty or not guilty. In a slight way, this one is kind of an underdog story because, you know, you've got Henry Fonda who believes that, you know, there's reason to speculate that he may not be guilty. And then you got everyone else who's against him. And so, you know, you're kind of rooting for him to, um, you know, see if they can get to his side. I mean, no one really knows if the kid was actually guilty or not guilty. I'm not going to spoil what their overall verdict is. Um, but, you know, it's definitely a um, thought-provoking film in a way. Um, I really like the conversations that these gentlemen had. And, you know, it's very well acted, especially, um, you know, I mentioned uh, Henry Fonda. But uh, Lee J. Cobb also did a fantastic job. Um, he is one of the jurors who is strongly you know, firmly grasping that the kid is completely guilty. And, you know, he is, um, you know, a, in a way, a very realistic character. I really liked his performance, and, you know, he brought a depth to the movie. Uh, and so did uh, Henry Fonda, you know, don't get me wrong, but uh, I, I really liked his character, uh, Lee J. Cobb. This film is one of those that has stood the test of time. It is one of the more popular older films out there. I mean, it's currently number seven on IMDb's Top 250. And, you know, it's one of my personal favorites. I've seen it a couple times before. And it's, you know, one of those movies that I just, I really enjoy watching. You know, it, I think it has to do with the strong writing and the really good acting in this film. You know, for some, I'm sure that this may be a boring film because it's only in one location for the majority of the film, and, you know, it's just people talking. Uh, I can see where someone would find that boring, but to me, it's really engaging. And, you know, it's definitely a very interesting film. 
So if you've never seen it, I highly recommend that you check it out because it is definitely one of those films that I, I personally think everybody should see. Um, but hey, yeah, that's just my personal opinion. Um, overall, I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. Fantastic movie, one of my all-time favorites. Um, again, recommend that you check it out. Uh, so tell me, guys, have you seen 12 Angry Men? If you have, what would you think of it? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Um, you know, what were your thoughts overall? Uh, what did you think of the acting, the direction, the writing, uh, anything at all? Comment below, let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. Be sure to check out our other videos. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And as always, I am Corey, and I will see you guys in the next one.